One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. I see a nice little forked tail over there. Looks like a Mekong. Oh no, it's a chow prior. Oh, it's a chow prior. Oh, you that ever wondered if there's any chow priors in here? That's right. Right there. There is one. Wow. Look at him. Oh, goodness. Okay, there's some Mekongs in there. There we go. Good fighting fish. Still all very, very healthy. Good condition. Look at the smiles of all the workers. Good guys. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Also a very hot day, so you can imagine the level of uh, fatigue that's going on. Some of them, when we were fishing last night, they were still here doing their seven to seven shift, and these same guys are still here. So you immediately see the segregation happening. Oh, look at that tail. Can you see that tail? My God. That's oh, a Mekong. Mekong, yes. Look at that tail. Look at that one. So guys, that's the one. That's the one. I like him. I see a very big Mekong in there, flapping his tail about. I'm gonna go in. I feel like going in. And I see a Rohu, quite big. There we go. As I just said his name. He came out. Oh, here we go, here we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, Not live right now, but um, we've got a lorry coming in. It's just past lunchtime, and the lorry is going to carry all the fishes that you see in a recovery pool, um, which includes the uh, you see the punchu there. You see some chop fry in here. All right. Where? Here. See the chop fry right here. Now. All of the fishes that you see in this pool are 10 kilos and above. And the lorry is coming in to take all these fishes out of the pool and into the new location uh, and immediately into the new pond. So we will be going with them 
and we'll be going to the new location and we'll keep you updated on, uh, on the happenings of Rawang. So stay tuned with us. We're going to go with them all the way throughout these next few months uh, and see their progress on the fish moving from Rawang to Vera. Can you tell us about how, what's the health of the fish right now? All right, so because there's so many of them, currently just in two or three hours, they've actually taken out 350 uh, Asian red tails alone. Uh, not counting the red tails uh, and all the other carps and all that. You would think that they're pretty damaged with hooks everywhere, but to be honest, they're not. They're healthy. Uh, the pachu looks amazing, probably because you rarely catch them. It's right there. It's right here. It's, it looks amazing. Um, and the catfish is no bleeding, uh, nothing. They, they're, they're actually doing really, really good. Uh, occasional scratches here and there, but nothing major. Uh, really exciting, so we'll, we'll see what happens now. Ciao, Praia. That's how they fight when they take power lines. They grab the hook and they make a run for it. Big ones too, huh? Very, very big. Oh, he wants to fight. Yeah, look at him, look at him, look at him. That's what happens. That's what happens. Look at them. All right. Look at him. Look at him. Perfect. Yeah. And all these are going in. Look at the size of this Asian red tail. My goodness. Ah. Baku's here. This one. Hey guys. Look at that. So I look like I've been through hell and back because we have just, uh, the fishes have just gone from the recovery pools into the lorries and now we're going to get in the car and we're going to go to the new location which is in Berang. I hope I, I pronounce it right. Um, based on the uh, ways that we normally use in Malaysia, which is our GPS, uh, it says that it's 45 kilometers away and uh, currently it's about... 1.40 p.m. on a Monday uh, and it takes about 42 minutes to head over to this place so um, we're quite excited to go over and uh, and see how they put in the fishes. We've been told there's about a thousand child prior catfishes in there already um, so we're, we're gonna go see have a look and keep you updated it's gonna be a long process this is day one of uh, probably a two-month process so uh, I think my husband's about to leave me so uh, we'll, we'll catch up with you guys soon